Welcome to Swim Lessons University. I'm Jim Reiser. Do you want to know how to teach butterfly better? Well today I'm going to share with you what's been working for me. Early in my teaching and coaching career I spent the majority of my time coaching and studying elite competitive swimmers and their stroke technique. I didn't realize it at the time, but that knowledge actually led to more frustration when teaching the beginners than it helped at the time. But in a graduate course I took at the University of South Carolina, Dr. Karen French, my mentor, exposed me to Fitz and Posner's three stages of learning and it changed the way I approached teaching a new stroke to young learners. Today's DVD, this approach, is based on the assumption that your student that you're working with is in that cognitive stage of learning. The stroke is new, the airs are gross, your swimmer is struggling really just to stay at the surface of the water and early on the stroke attempts look almost nothing like the butterfly. So today's course is going to help you teach them the, the general idea the, of, of, of the stroke. And you're not, this isn't teaching the swim team like kid that maybe has some really strong swimming skills just doesn't know the mechanics. We're teaching a child that has minimal skills can swim but minimal skills and teach them a stroke that is brand new. Let's take a look at the children learning the body dolphin butterfly kick action while using cues and buzzwords that attend to that general fundamental action of the skill. The first drill we're going to do to work on our body action is body dolphin butterfly. Now, was I dunking my head? No. Now watch, this is what dunking the head looks like. Watch this. <laughs> we don't want to dunk the head. We just want to tip it. Now here's the right way again. Watch me tip the head. Tip the head down, tip the head up. Tip the head down, tip the head up. The rest of the way, all right. Underwater, we don't want to dunk it too deep because then it takes too long to come back up. Okay, just tip it underwater a little bit. Ready? Go. There, there you go. Because we know that young children love to use their imaginations, we developed the caterpillar to butterfly drill to create that interaction, that engaging approach that really works well with young children and also will help them learn the technique. Let's take a look. Caterpillar, spread your wings and butterfly. Good, again, back to the beginning. Caterpillar, spread your wings and butterfly. Very good. as their arms are manipulated through the movement pattern. And three, children learn through modeling, cues, and the coral responding, as you're gonna see right here. All right, Jeb and McKenzie, we're gonna do an exercise now called the butterfly inchworm swim. Butterfly inchworm, butterfly inchworm. Butterfly, inchworm, very good. And 100% of the swimmer's concentration could now be placed on mastering the fundamentals versus keeping themselves on top of the water. We stroke, we spread our wings, and 
then when our hands go in the water, we pretend we're a inchworm, a butterfly, inchworm, butterfly, inchworm. Okay, stop. Once you get your breath, now do it the rest of the way without a breath. Butterfly, inchworm, go. Butterfly, inchworm, butterfly, inchworm. Now, when your hands go in the water, what do you want to try to get up? Your... When your hands go in the water, what comes up? Your head goes down and your bottom comes up. Good. Hands in, head down. Bottom up. Hands in, bottom up. Hands in, bottom up. And inchworm. There you go. Inchworm. Bottom up. There, now do it. That's it. There was a good inchworm. Waited that time for your hands in, and that was perfect. Goodbye. Awesome. Breathe, butterfly. Breathe, butterfly. Because guess what? The butterfly has to breathe if it wants to live. If your butterfly never gets any air, he's going to drown. <laughs> so we gotta make sure our butterfly's getting air. Breathe, butterfly. Breathe, butterfly. Breathe, butterfly. That's awesome. Let's do a couple together. Ready? Breathe, butterfly. Breathe when you pull, head down when you stroke. Putting it all together. I would spend some time every class if your student is capable of swimming some butterfly without the buoyancy. Be patient, be encouraging, and remember the characteristics that are very common and normal at this stage of learning. The errors are going to be gross, the errors are going to be many, the performance is going to be inconsistent. Just keep encouraging, be patient. Correct, yes. Compliment, though, twice as much as you correct. And celebrate even the baby steps of progress. All right. That away. Now I want you to do them down. 